All right, good morning, everybody. It's October the 29th, um, Tuesday, and our scripture reading for today is Luke chapters 19 and 20. Pray with me. Father, you are so good to us, and we will always want to praise you. God, thank you for the day. Thank you for the morning that you've allowed us, the, the, the life that, we're, um, that we have before us this day. Father, I pray that we'll honor you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, here we are in chapter 19. When Jesus entered Jericho, Zacchaeus, a rich chief tax collector, sought to see him and he climbed up a tree to see him. Jesus saw him up there and said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. Zacchaeus received him joyfully and repented with a promise of restoration and generosity to the poor. Jesus said, Today salvation has come to this house, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. In the parable of the talents, or the parable of the meanness, Jesus tells of a certain nobleman departing for a far country, leaving his servants in charge of his belongings, saying, Do business till I come. Some servants were profitable or faithful, and some were not. Each person will be held accountable for what God has given them. You will not give account for me, nor I for you. You'll answer for yourself. I will be judged, or all will be judged, and the faithful will be rewarded, and the unfaithful will be punished. Next is the account of Jesus' triumphal entry of Jerusalem. As the crowds rejoiced and cried out with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus weeps over Jerusalem, saying, If you had known the things that make for peace but now they are hidden from your eyes. Then he foretells of the destruction that will befall Jerusalem. Then he went into the temple and drove out the money changers and taught them there daily while the chief priests and the scribes and the leaders of the people sought to destroy him. In chapter 20, the leaders confront Jesus asking by what or by whose authority are you doing these things? He stumps them with a question about John's baptism and they are put to silence. Jesus tells them the parable of the wicked vine dressers that were unwilling to give the vineyard owner his rightful due. He pronounces judgment on them, saying, He will come and destroy those vine dressers and give the vineyard to others. His opposition knew that he had spoken this against them. Spies were sent to try and catch Jesus in his words, asking about paying taxes to Caesar, but they could not. He said, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. The Sadducees come seeking to discredit him, uh, asking about the resurrection. He corrected them in their wrong thinking, saying, for, for he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. But after that, they dare not ask him uh, any more questions. Turning the tables on them, Jesus asked them a question about the Messiah, which they could not answer, and then he pronounces condemnation on them as hypocrites. Thought for today, we continually try to turn our relationship with God into a complicated religion. God seeks to remove artificial barriers that hinder us from enjoying fellowship with Him. God bless you. Have a great day.